I don't know. I can't picture my life without her. I can't picture my life without any of them. The thought of her not here is... I don't even want to think about it. A new life means new beginnings. These new beginnings should be cause for celebration, not a cause for stress. Little Lily was unfortunately born with a rare birth defect, which was unexpected news to say the least for her family. Despite the news, her family is doing everything they can to make sure she gets the lifestyle she deserves. She was born with congenital heart failure, meaning she had multiple issues with her heart. She had uh, B, multiple BSDs, which is holes between the left and right ventricle of the heart. Basically, the holes in Lily's heart weren't allowing the blood flow to move properly, and it was cutting off blood flow to her lower extremities and organs. So she had enlarged kidneys, her feet were cold and stayed purple, and as she, a few days after she was at the hospital, she just quit feeding. I knew there was something wrong. Finally, somebody's listening. Finally, somebody's seeing this, realizing it, and taking action on it. But another part of me is, okay, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I have to wake up, wake, like I'm pinching myself. And when, he, when Dr. Al Nami was telling me what was going on in the hospital, I was looking at him and his mouth was moving, but nothing was going into my ears. I, I, and I was trying so hard to understand. And it was like that for a good month in the hospital, even in Edmonton. Yeah, when she got to Edmonton, she was on her last legs. If it wasn't for the medevac down and the doctors here catching it as quick as they did, she wouldn't have made it. She wouldn't be here at all. It's something that I wouldn't wish on anybody. It's, nobody wants their kids sick, but going through it, it's, I don't know, like, you just do it. Um, we obviously spent all the time in the hospital, educated ourselves with the doctors, lots of homework on the conditions, side effects, medications, and just how to take care of her when we did get home. But you gotta look at the positive. Like, things could have been so much worse. Right, and things could still be worse. Like we gotta be, you know, I'm just a positive person. No, no, no good to reflect on the sad or the ifs and what's and could-ofs. It's, it's past, we deal with it. And Someone was always home, whether school functions, one parent would be home, one would go with her to keep her healthy. And it's, yeah, it's the best we could do. And, and it's, it's, I know that I could wake up tomorrow and she'd be dead and gone. And I'm not going to worry about that. Because you know what? She's going to make it. And that's the way I'm going to be. <laughs> she's got she's to gotta make it. And she will make it with the love of everyone around her. To help her cause, please visit her GoFundMe account. Lily's journey is just the beginning. And with the support of a loving family, she'll have a fighting chance at a life we all deserve. For Go... I'm Doug Roxburgh.